Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to show you step by step how to turn your AI avatar into a content money machine. Before we get into this tutorial, do you like my outfit? How do I look? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's jump back into the tutorial. But before we dive in, I need you to grab your pen and notebook because this is going to be a detailed tutorial. We're talking about real money making strategies here, and I don't want you to miss a single step. Trust me, by the end of this video, you're going to have everything you need to start making money with AI avatars. So the first thing I'm going to be doing, this is my model right now. This is my avatar that I created on Google Gemini. And now I'm going to turn her into a content creator machine. Now, basically with this type of content, you'll be able to make money online with Amazon affiliate, TikTok affiliate, LTK, all the other platforms that allow you to make money online through fashion and everything else. This is why I think this is a game changer for content creators, especially people like me that are very introverted. I don't like to be in front of the camera to show my face all the time. And that's the reason why I think with this new model from Nano Banana, we're going to be making money. We're going to be wealthy. <laughs> All right. So the first thing is make sure you have a Google account. Now I have the paid plan for Google Gemini. So mine might give you different variations and more generations. You can use the free version, but I don't know exactly how many options they give you to create images per day, but don't worry. You can definitely start with the free version and upgrade later when you start making money. As you can see, when you first log in, it's going to say, try image editing with our best image model, Nano Banana. It automatically tells you. If this wasn't here, you would just go to tools, then create images. But since that sign is here, just click on it and it automatically goes to Nano Banana. See how easy that is? Now, Nano Banana is Google's newest image generation model, and it's specifically designed for editing and transforming existing images. The quality is incredible, and that's why we're using it for our avatar business. The second thing I'm going to be doing is going to Pinterest because I want to give you the complete strategy of how I'm going to be using my avatar to create content. So you guys can do the same thing as well. Now, if you don't know how to create your own avatar or AI influencer or AI twin, let me know in the comments and I'll be able to show you how to do that in another video. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to create your own content creator machine to make money because affiliate marketing is big in the world that we're living in right now. Everybody wants to make money. Everybody wants to have commissions. Everybody wants to promote products for a fee. So I think right now is the best opportunity to do that with Nano Banana. I already started and don't forget to follow me on Pinterest as well. I'm on all social media platforms, by the way. As I'm on Pinterest, I'm gonna look for fall theme outfits that I know are gonna look good on my AI avatar. I want her to have a certain pose, to have a certain dress code because she's a fashionista. So I'm searching around, I'm looking to see what's good for me until I find what I like. I keep looking. That's pretty much it. You look to see which one you like. Take your time with this part. This is where you're building your brand aesthetic. I'm going to go with this one. I like this one. This nice outfit, French fall, all that. So what I'm going to do is copy this and I'm going to go back to Google Gemini. All right, I'm going to upload my avatar first. Then I'm going to paste the Pinterest outfit image. I'm just going to simply type, I want her in this outfit, or I want her wearing this outfit, something like that. I want my avatar to wear this outfit. Once I entered it, it took a little time to generate. And then once it generated, it'll show. Let's see what we get. Okay. Basically this is her, but it looks too simple. That's why you got to be descriptive when you're doing this because you don't want her to look weird. You see, it just basically put her head on the outfit, which that's not what we're looking for. That's why you gotta be more specific with the prompt. And when you're looking at it, it looks a little blurry, but when you click on it, it shows more clarity. 
So we're gonna do something different. What I'm gonna do is upload my image like I did before. Go back to Pinterest and copy the outfit image. You can copy or save the image as well. I'm just gonna copy, which is easier for me. Now I'm gonna be more descriptive and add way more detail to the prompt because earlier I just said I want her in the outfit and it just messed it up. It just put her head in the outfit. That's not what I want. So now I'm gonna be more descriptive with the prompt. I'm gonna say I want her in this outfit Please use her face and her body type. She's five feet, five inches. She's athletic, toned, thick, small waist, wide hips, elegant posture. And for location, since this outfit looks more French, I'm gonna say she's in Paris. She's in Paris outside walking by a French restaurant. And then I'm gonna describe the weather. I'll say it's fall season because of her outfit. Make it look high end like a professional photo shoot captured with a Canon 85 millimeter with perfect studio lighting. Make it a portrait image. I'm gonna add raw and crisp at the end. These terms help the AI understand you want professional quality results. The reason why you gotta be very descriptive with your prompts is because you want something nice and clear. You tell it exactly how you want it to look because otherwise it's not going to come out the way that you want. Like I said, everybody has different approaches, but this is what works for me. All right, let's see the difference this detailed prompt makes. Okay, so this is how it came out. And it still comes in a little bit blurry initially, but that's normal. When you click on it, it looks fine. Much better than our first attempt. Even though we got a better result, I don't like the way the coat looks one-sided. I'm gonna go back and say, have her wear the whole jacket. Let's see how AI generates the content for us. Sometimes it's a hit or miss, but sometimes it does exactly what we want. You see what I mean? Even though I specified it, it still didn't do exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. This is part of the process. We can save this one and try again. I want her to wear the outfit with the whole jacket. Okay, so it did better this time. If you can see the difference between those two pictures, you can see that now she has the jacket just like the mock-up. But in the first one, it was only on one side and I wanted it on both sides. I wanted you guys to see the difference between the one-sided version and the complete version. This shows you why it's important to be specific and to keep refining your prompts until you get exactly what you want. Now we can do another outfit. I'm gonna go back to Pinterest and see if I can find something else that's more casual, like a sneaker outfit. Let me search for sneaker outfits for women to see what I can find. Okay, so this one looks perfect. This is more of a street style look. We're gonna go back and do the same thing over again. The reason why I keep specifying to use her face is because I've tested this and I keep getting different faces when I don't specifically mention it. If I just ask it to create an image without uploading my avatar, it will forget the face and create a completely different person. So I still got work to do to maintain consistency. This is another outfit style. Now I'm creating variety in my avatar's content. You want to show different styles, different moods, different occasions. This gives you more content to work with and appeals to different audiences. Think about it, some people like elegant, dressy looks. Others prefer casual street style. By creating variety, you're expanding your potential audience and income opportunities. Now here's where it gets really exciting. Let's say you want to turn this static image into a video. This is how we're gonna do it, and trust me, this is where the magic really happens. I'm gonna save this image first. I'm gonna call it indoor outfit so I can keep track of all my creations. For the video, I'm gonna go to AI Studio Google because they have the video generation studio right there for VEO2. What I'm gonna be doing is clicking on generate media and then clicking on video. Now I can upload my picture right here. I'm gonna type, she's posing for a video, something simple but effective and I'm gonna make sure I get the 916 aspect ratio because I want it to be like a reel or TikTok video. This is crucial for social media content. Vertical videos perform way better on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. 
Now I'm gonna run it to see how it's gonna come out. Let's see. Also, if it doesn't come out perfect the first time, you can always regenerate the video until you get the one that you want. I always say do two or three different versions so when you're editing them in CapCut or whatever software you use, you have different shots to work with. All right, look at this. Girl, look at her posing for the video. I'm gonna download this and then I'm gonna run it again because we want to make sure we have videos to create a good reel or TikTok video. All right, so let's see the second video. Look at that. Wow, she's even smiling. Come on, this is amazing. All right, so now that you've seen how amazing this is, I gotta ask you, how excited are you to try this for yourself? Like, are you ready to start creating your own AI avatar content? Let me know in the comments. I wanna hear from you. And by the way, I'm dropping my school community, September 28th, so you guys can learn even more ways to make money online with AI tools. It's gonna be $10 for the first 100 founding members. I can't wait to teach you. Let's jump back into the final tutorial. I'm gonna do like a cocktail dress outfit. Let me search cocktail dress outfits mock-up. Okay, there are so many of them. This one seems perfect. We're gonna go back and do the same thing over again. Upload the avatar, upload the dress inspiration, and give it detailed prompts. Now I'm gonna use my detailed prompt formula again, but I'm gonna modify it for this cocktail dress setting. My goodness, this is amazing. Look at this transformation. The only thing she's missing is the champagne glass, but I can always go back and say, can you add a glass of champagne? You can continue and say, add the necklace or whatever accessories you want. This is so versatile. We're gonna be rich with AI. We're gonna be wealthy. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I am already becoming a millionaire with AI. Now, here's a pro tip. When you're on Pinterest, make sure you pay attention to where these images are coming from. Are they from fashion brands? Because later you can reach out to these brands for potential partnerships when your avatar content starts getting engagement. Look for outfits from places like Shein, Fashion Nova, Amazon Fashion. These are brands that actively work with influencers and content creators. You're building a business here, so think strategically about every choice you make. This is it. This is what I wanted to show you guys today because I know it needed to be done so you guys can have an idea of what's possible. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And join me on my Facebook group. And don't forget that school is dropping September 28th. See you next time. And remember, we're not just creating content. We're building businesses. Take action on what you learned today. Start creating your avatar content and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we dive even deeper into monetizing your AI creations.